Hey, I'm Nick. I'm Steph. That's your line. All right, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> So special Father's Day version. Of Father's Dream Day Daddies? version of Dream Daddies. Yeah. Oh, I knew. Oh, already. Oh, it's okay. Oh, you didn't. You don't want to be on TV. Is it bad that I think he's really cute when he cries? No, he's very cute when he cries. This is Banjo. This is my baby boy Banjo. He's over it already. He's over it already. But you're here to help us make decisions to find a new daddy. Do you want a new daddy? No. No, that was your cue to cry, not before. Let's jump in. Okay. I know, you're only three months old. You shouldn't be playing video games. This is terrible. Let's just get him started young though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a mouse. You could, do you want to just drool on that for a bit? <laughs> okay, so look. Yeah, this is all good noises. So he was trying to read the uh, he was trying to read the subtitles. Right, okay, well he can do the voice, he can do the voiceover from now on. Do you want to do and the voiceover? And we can just. Oh, he's getting <laughs> stage fright. I'm never gonna make my fortune off this baby. That's okay, you can just be cute. I mean, he's staring at me a lot. Do you reckon he has a crush? Maybe. Is he too young to have a crush? I'm talking to my partner. She says no, so she's a terrible mother. <laughs> uh, Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Mmm, seems like nobody was really into that cauliflower. You're not into cauliflower, because that gives you gas. But who eats raw cauliflower? Freaks, that's who. Like Horatio. <laughs> He did, to be fair, he looks like 100% vegan. 100%. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Oh, well, let's see, there you go. Is that okay? No, it's not. Banjo, is that okay? If that's okay, <laughs> just say nothing. It's good, we're good. <laughs> of course, just keep me posted and be home by midnight. You got it. And be careful. I will. And make good choices. Of course. He's basically saying don't have sex. <laughs> And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not gonna do that thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with the lights off, are you? Oh, that's heaps creepy. That's really creepy. Again, particularly You've that arrived. face. That face, <laughs> that's not a normal face. Uh, what? No, I mean, I've never done that and I never will do that. Okay, so do you have plans tonight? Yeah, I was just gonna sit quietly in the dark <laughs> living room and just wait. <laughs> I, uh, my plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda. Oh, oh heartbroken. She bailed on him. Heartbroken. Oh no, that's so sad. Show some emotion. Should I pinch him? He's showing wonderment. His wonderment, your and wonderment. excessive drool, um, I would say. By the way, before we move on, I just wanted to point out that I, I looked at all the Dream Daddies before we started. I was mm. like, maybe I could dress up like one of them. The only outfit I had was Abusive Dad. You were Abusive <laughs> yeah. Dad today! So, so don't, you know, don't listen but to anything really. Dad says. He's but just in character. <laughs> he would never pinch you just to make you perform unless you were paying him a lot of money. We decided this was Hugh Jackman Dad as well. Hugh Jackman Dad is the other option. Mm. Um, so here's the thing though, she's going to college. So I feel like the whole like, call me when you need anything and that sort of thing. Like, is she not past this age? Maybe she's like freshly 18, uh, so you're still. I think, like, in that I phase. moved out and then went, moved back home. Yeah. And it was like I'd never left in terms of the rules around college really? as soon as you get there. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, so, so, what are we gonna do? We're gonna work on some stuff, see how long I can sleep for, throw a party. What do you wanna I do? I feel like that's sarcasm. Throw a party is sarcasm. Mm. Well, he's drooling, so he's already ready to party. Uh, which one do you wanna do? <laughs> The more just like it's tumbles just like, out of his mouth. The more you wipe his mouth, the more he draws. Yeah, it's like it's like permission. Imagine me not being in control of saliva. Yes, how how horrible that would be. <laughs> um, okay, so do you want to work on stuff? Do you want to see how long you can sleep for? I would love if you. I would love he if you. He kind of option. nodded just then. He kind of did it. He did a bit of that. Do you want to throw a party? <laughs> it's and then he looked like he was dancing. He wants to throw a party. Okay. Oh, you want to throw a party? Yeah. Yeah, it's party time. A real rager. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. I'll see if you can get a spot on the list. But honestly, it's looking tight and you might just have to wait in line. You are <laughs> loving this party. <laughs> so keen. Uh, I know the guy at the door, I'll get in no problem. Classic. Are we gonna have Their this kind of- Their banter is so I good. I was gonna say, do you reckon we'll have this kind of banter when you get older? I think so. I, can, I can't tell if he's excited or stressed out because he does a lot of this. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it, that's all the, like, the sound that he can make. <laughs> I mean, A, it's 100% that. But B, it also goes from one to the other in half a second. Yeah, He's right. like, ah, 
<laughs> that was so like, like my, smile, smile, scream. That was my entire adolescence as well. So I feel like it never really leaves you until you're past your Just 20s. smiling, smiling, and then screaming <laughs> yeah, yeah. for no reason. Life is great. Life yeah. is awful. <laughs> and then just drooling about it. Uh, I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? So do you reckon this? he's organizing, like tonight, he's like, I have nothing oh, to like do. He is actually going to call someone. We're going to call a dad. Booty call. Booty call a dad. Oh, you're too young to awesome. know any of this. Oh, I hope it gets, I would hope it gets salacious. Does it get salacious? Does it get salacious? No, it doesn't. Okay. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Mm. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. <gasps> we are too close to lunchtime to be talking about food like this. <laughs> I'd love to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, just like making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. What is a baked Alaska? I, I know of a bomb Alaska. Do you reckon it's the same, the same got, thing? How many, how many desserts could be named after Alaska? Yeah. Two, apparently. I think it's that ice cream meringue thing. Oh, man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a pro. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dime Mastermind and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. Although Meat Hell could be if the date goes bad. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey you know what I'm saying? You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying and you, and you really shouldn't. Uh, I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I sent a text. Hey, kiddo, mm. you good? I wonder if she's, she's not doing anything like shady, is she? She's, I, I, she's not out with that emo kid. She's not out with that emo kid. Is she, oh, she better not be out with a bloody like rat kid of the British guy. Mm. I, I'm, I still reckon I'm onto something with she's the one who's dating dads. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. It's good dadding. He's very worried. He's a, he's a very worried dad. Ooh, so that was a big nice. yawn. Is that a yawn? <laughs> He's like, let's get to the banging parts. That's exactly what you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. Yeah, that's what I say. Right, of course, because this is post barbecue. I deserve it. I check my watch again, and then my phone, nothing yet. Mm. Imagine if she died. What a twist. I don't think this what game a dark is that twist. dark. <laughs> are, you, are you ready for that? I know no one is. Hang on. He's, wor he's worried about Amanda too. Come sit on a comfy thigh. How comfy is this thigh? Oh yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay, he's see like, now I'm- life is so much better on your lap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? Who do I call? No, it's too soon for that. I'll just send a gentle reminder text. It's not gonna be gentle. What's up? I feel like all of these texts are booty calls. <laughs> yeah, but he's texting his daughter. What's up? Half an hour passes, now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. Oh, this is like a glimpse into my future with you. You're the kind of guy that won't text me back. This is a fair point though. Why didn't he find out where she was going or like... That's a good point for someone know? who was being so possessive in the first place. Yeah, like, and like super careful. Doesn't even know who he she's with. He didn't find out the dates of like the, the emo kid's or... number. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't even know his last name. Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? There you go. Who is Emma P? We just don't know. That's a good point. Isn't there another Emma as well? I think so. Yeah. I decide to send her another text. Oh, like, God. why not call her? Yeah. That's a yeah. That's a very good point. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her right now. This is such a dark episode to bring my baby into. <laughs> like, previously this has just been all about sex and dads, yes, and now suddenly we're on to like, the child may have died. Aren't you so excited for the time when Banjo becomes a teenager and is out doing hooligan things and you're just sitting at home being like, is he dead? Is he okay? Is he taking drugs? Are you taking drugs? He's definitely taking drugs. Look at him. It's all the drool. I feel like that's what people look like when they're on drugs. Well, just, they definitely... just drooling and just like un in control of their limbs and They definitely dress like this as well. He's got a little bear hat, he's got a little bear shirt on. He's pretty stylish. You're just a bear. <laughs> oh, thank God it's her. Oh, is it her or is it a dad? Oh no, it is her. Damn. She shuffles in. She looks exactly the same. She looks pretty happy though. I don't think anything's going wrong. She's high. Finally, finally, she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup? Oh, this is classic teenage. <laughs> Just the worst. You know who this reminds me of? Little Will. Who's no, no longer a teenager. Little Will isn't like that at all. <laughs> Little Will's always outraging. We're trying to get him to edit things. <laughs> He's out doing 
eating things and drinking things, and it's actually you're right. It's literally the opposite of Will. He's in like every possible way busy being diligent and bringing baked goods for people. That is true. Except I and I know I'm only saying this because I know he'll never watch this episode. Um, he's also possibly a serial killer. Because I would describe him as quiet and keeps to himself. I mean, I'm pretty sure he will edit this episode, so... Well, please don't kill me. <laughs> but now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Oh no. Oh, this is teaching me dad skills. That's what this is. This is why we brought him in. Right. Because up until now, all we've learned is how to, like, not date other dads. Did you have a good, like, relationship with your, like, parents in terms of, like you felt like there was at least someone you could talk to if you got into a bind. Like, let's say you go to a party, some and shady stuff's going down. Just get someone pregnant. You don't feel pregnant. comfortable. Yeah. Or you get someone <laughs> pregnant and you're like, I'm gonna call yeah. mom or yeah. dad or whatever and they're gonna come and pick me up. Stephanie, let me explain something to you. Yeah. I was the dream child. Okay. I I don't I don't feel like so I necessarily- you were, you were never in a shady situation? I would never have put myself in that situation in the first place. You know what I would have done? Mm. Stayed in my room and read. Right. Do you know what? My parents could have dropped me off at a party. I would have snuck back into my bedroom while they weren't looking and started to read. That's how good a child I was. Uh, I mean, it's all gone to shit now. Um, but I feel like I, they, like I, I think my dad would have been fine with that. My mum probably would have like been a little more, what the hell are you doing? But um, yeah. but yeah. What about you? No, I mean, I put myself into like numerous <laughs> terrible situations yeah. and I never called them And once. you never called. I mean, it's it's shocking you're alive. I would sooner call like a friend's mum than my own mum. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> and what are you gonna do? What are you, you're going to call me all the time, aren't you? In fact, you're never gonna leave. You're gonna be 20 and still sitting on daddy's lap. <laughs> which is weird when I say that out loud. Amanda pulls a phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops, I guess I didn't see those. Oh, classic. She starts to walk to her room. Oh no, no, Missy. Amanda Ann. The middle name. Middle named. What's your middle name? Robert. My dad's name. Robert. Claire is mine. Claire. Stephanie Claire. Stephanie Claire. <laughs> Banjo Nicholas. <laughs> Amanda Ann Aker is her name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Amanda Ann. Oh, yeah, because yeah, his middle name is B. Yeah, yeah it's Amanda Ann Aker. She's oh, triple it's A. Okay. You, you keep punishing there, I'm going to settle the chart. Okay. Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now. Yeah, exactly. It's serious. Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? Okay, we have a choice. I don't like your attitude. I have a right to be concerned. I was scared. Oh, like the parent's choice would be, I don't like your attitude. I have a right to be concerned is the sensible choice and I was scared is probably the most emotionally affecting choice. I'm gonna choose that. We're responding and it was just, oh. Oh, what's happening? He's brought up the mum. The dead mum? Yeah, the Did dead she, mum. She died, she didn't leave, right? You, were, you weren't responding and it was just, <gasps> it was just like when your mum. Didn't respond to a text message, so I killed her. It was I an accident? She... Uh, I, no, we don't know how she died. Um, we just know that it happened and now we're getting very emotional about it. Was that why you were upset? You knew the accidental cancer thing was coming? Look at these little bubbles on the back. Careful, they are his actual years. <laughs> That's how you hear. I have to stop myself from tearing up. Oh God, emotions. Dad, I didn't mean to. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. Oh, Do you man. reckon he's just playing the sympathy card? Do you reckon I don't know. that's what's I mean, This is very dramatic. This suddenly got real. You really scared me. Just, just please don't do that again. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. I love that we were hoping that while she was gone, he would get some action and instead he just ate ice cream <laughs> and then like brought up the death of his wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The opposite of action. Yeah. As I'm falling asleep, the one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? Oh no, because we know we are. He needs we know we're he gonna needs be like that. He some independence like badly. Yeah. I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. Though technically she's in the wrong. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Oh, she looks sullen. She's been thinking about dead she mom as well. She looks very sullen. Hey, I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was gonna do it and I didn't and honestly, I just didn't think about it. Oh, good. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Oh, we nailed it. We nailed dadding. Well, I made that choice, so what technically- What did you choose? What was the choice you made? Did you choose to choice... bring up mom? No, the choices were um, uh, I have a right to be upset. Yep. 
I don't like your attitude. Yeah. And I was scared. Right, okay. And you said I was scared? Yeah, because that was the most, I figured that would elicit the most emotional That was the reaction. most emotionally manipulative. So I'm, I'm you manipulative, yeah. you know, inherently, can, yeah. Can we just point out that we nailed parenting on all fronts? Because while you, you nailed parenting here, I was in the background just- You nailed like, parenting just, IRL. Just fucking nail and put that kid like, <laughs> from, from off the edge of a cliff. Okay. <clears throat> Blowing bubbles. Yeah, that's like that's like his talent. You know how Seven is running that show, uh, Little Big Shots, where oh, yeah. it's like kids, the talents. Yeah, that's his. That's his. Yeah, nice. You could win because Daddy works at Seven, so he just pulled some strings. I'm so. sorry for freaking out on you. I trust you to make good choices. Good. Well, I feel good. I feel like the top two work. I'm sorry for freaking out, and I trust you to make good. Well, I reckon we say I trust you to make good choices because okay. we're basically saying like in the future. I, like, I'm putting this burden on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's putting it back in her court. Trust is good. This, I feel like, is a bit, uh, a bit like, do doormatty. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're both high school kids, like, yeah, yeah. apologize. All right, I trust you to make good choices. I also thought about it, and I'll try to give you your space from here on out. I gotta trust that you can take care of yourself. Because she's going to college. She's going to college. She's gotta take care of herself. <laughs> Team B. Acre? <laughs> oh, no, so... The middle, the last name is actually B. Acre. It's not Acre. <laughs> the last name is B. We Acre. Have, we should have put apostrophe in there so it was like a Star Wars name. We should have. <laughs> uh, team B. Acre. Amanda gives me a hug. Aww. Aww. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. No, you're grounded. <laughs> Already did. Already did. Amanda scarfs down the eggs in, time, in the time it takes me to wash the pan. All right, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. We're nearly there, buddy. We can do it. We're at the finish line. Look at look at rabid Mario. <gasps> Insy, incy spider. I find that a bit scary. Well, he is shooting a gun at what him. What about this terrifying dragon? What about the terrifying dragon? Let's just use the terrifying dragon as a prop. <laughs> like... But do incy wincy. Hey. Incy wincy hey. dragon climbed up the water spout. Look at its red evil Down eyes. Down came the rain and dragon blew it all away with the fire from his breath. <laughs> Out right. came the sun, which powers dragon's anger. So incy wincy dragon just scorched the entire village. He's mesmerized by it. He loves violence. That's what we've learned today. <laughs> okay, quick, let's get this across the line. Uh, what? What's dad book? Uh, it's a social media platform. How does she know about dad book and we don't, being a dad? <laughs> Wait, what's a social media platform? Oh, dad. Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda, I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. All right, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which as it turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Nice. That's nice. All right, pops, we gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Oh my gosh, do we get to fill out the profile? Yeah, we get to fill out the profile. We get to fill out the profile. Oh, oh, oh this is service. true. Okay, oh, cool. This is the best. Okay. On, on Friday night. Okay, but how honest are we going to be here? Because we're trying to hook a dad, and I feel like we're trying. Oh yeah, we're trying. We're, to, a, wait. we're a bit of a recluse. You read out the things. I'll shout opinions. Okay. And you pick. All right. Do you want the scary dragon? No, I'm the scary dragon right now. On a Friday night, you're most likely to. <laughs> polish and sort my coin collection. <laughs> Netflix and grill, baby. Fall asleep watching the History Channel. Torment my children with dad puns. Sink into blissful oblivion. Sink into blissful oblivion? Do you feel like any of these choices are trying to align us with certain dads? Oh my god, you're like, totally- Like, for example, dad. fall asleep and watch the History Channel, you That's know? Irish dad. Irish dad. We do uh, watch a lot which, of TV. Which one, which one do we like? We like, um, we like Vampire Dad and Irish Dad. Sink into blissful oblivion sounds like... That feels like Vampire Dad? Vampire Dad. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. You want to sink into oblivion? If you do, make that little sad face that you make. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, classic, what would it be? My trusty grill? <laughs> if I wonder who that is. Who loves that grill? The lost shaker of salt. Cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. A boat, obviously. I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. I like Castaway on DVD for instructional purposes. I'm just gonna choose that one. Hey Nick, what are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms. <laughs> Tennis shoes with long white socks. A well manicured lawn. Street smarts. Top tier grillmanship. Comfortable with cycling. Oh, I just don't know. Strong dad arms would be active dad. 
and What's tennis shoes. What's crying? Yeah, I don't know who that would be. I reckon it, that's Vampire Dad because he's all emotional. Really? Yeah, I'm sure they would put them all in the same spot as well. Is that the bottom option? Yeah. Yeah. What did you want to be when you grew up? Technical writer for manuals and instructionals, salty boat captain, pro skater who is also an astronaut, a good father, president of space. <laughs> Banjo says president of space, Okay. you can make your own options. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going with what Banjo says. What's your favourite movie genre? War documentaries? Sean Connery's entire filmography? Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Anything on Laserdisc? Romantic comedies? Whatever will make me cry? Old comedies that haven't aged well. I like that Sean Connery option. Yeah, let's do that. What's your ideal date? Napping together? Doing a hundred piece puzzle together? Oh, I love a puzzle. Eating a healthy dinner at 4pm? <laughs> Trying to geocache but getting hopelessly lost. Arson. Ah, oh, yeah. That's abusive, Dad, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Being emotionally vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> um, puzzle or vulnerable? Let's do puzzle. What do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan? My sick vape? Oh, no. <laughs> That's definitely active, Dad. <laughs> my, my book of word jumbles and a pen. A cool knife. We all know who that is. A cripplingly low self-esteem. I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. Well, that's me. I like a sensible cardigan. Sensible cardigan is a good option. Yeah, let's, let's, we'll pick some different ones and see what it like comes up with. Yeah. For all the different days. I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories, how proud I am of my child. Oh, we all know who that is. Potential ends of the world. If I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. <laughs> when I can next get a cup of coffee. Lawnmower modifications. Conspiracy theories? Yeah, or potential ends of the world. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. Profile complete. complete! Oh, did we get matched with dads? See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. You should message one of them, more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I'll promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. Oh, look at all the dads, they're all on dad book. So we can look at their profiles now, I imagine. We can. Okay. Do you want to pick a dad? Yeah. Which dad do you like? And you can't choose Nick. You can't choose Nick. Let's lead him towards some dads. We're thinking Damien or Hugo. Let's go Damien <clears throat> to start with. There he is. Okay, so this okay. is going to take us some time. Yeah, to go and through I think the profiles. struggling baby is a good indication that maybe it's time to say that this is done for this week's episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much for coming in, buddy. Yeah. And I feel like we learned some good parenting skills along the way. Can I hold him? Oh, uh, sure. I mean, it's not going to go well. It's fine. You okay? This is everything that I understand about babies. <laughs> it's fine. We love each other. And things are good. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Scary dragon. Scary dragon. No. A, gl a glimpse into Steph and her cats. We're gonna leave it there. <laughs>